What's up everybody, KUT here once again with another video, coming back with another interview for you. This interview is with a dude by the name of Al Reeves. Now I met him a while ago. He actually DJ'd an art show for me. I had an art show at a place called Prime Cut and Sew and I did a pop-up show last uh, January and um, I needed a DJ. So I hired this guy, he did a good job for me. Um, but I found out later that he's also a rapper and he's a producer. So. We're gonna get him on the line in a few minutes, but before I do, just wanna say Stolen Art Show Documentary, my film, it's right there. It's coming out on Amazon on 9-9-19. So that's September 9th, next month. You can grab that, um, go stream it, you know, rent it, download it, whatever. Go check it out. Go see what it takes to be an artist out here, a visual artist, I paint and I create. So with that being said, I'm gonna give uh, Al a call right now. Let's get him on the line, get this thing going so we can find out what he, what he got popping. Here we go. Hey, what's up, man? What's yeah. up, Al Reeves? What's going on, man? How you doing? It's KUT here. Doing good. How about yourself? I am good, man. I got you. I'm good, brother. I'm good. Just wanted to reach out to you. Want to go on and get this interview going. Um, so real quick, man, let's uh, introduce yourself, tell the people where you're from and um, and what it is that you do. So I'm originally from Mexico, Chihuahua, Mexico, and uh, I was raised here in Arizona. And what I do is just uh, I dedicate myself to bringing the community together. And um, mm -hmm. the two ways that I do that is by bringing music and uh, cannabis, marijuana, and uh, hemp to um to the community to you know to spread positivity and to create to create something much bigger than what we have now as a society that usually um takes away the sustain the sustainability and like joy of like everyday life because without music and um like entertainment we have nothing in conclusion with like uh sustainability like something like hemp it it's a uh, it can uh can be used for many things and um i just feel like that's important to me and cool a lot of the people around me and stuff yeah it's very good so you work in that industry right if i remember correctly when we met a while ago you work in a you work in that field right outside yes, of the music yeah so what do yes. you do before we get to the music what do you do um in that industry Tell the people. So I try to work with a lot of events. Uh, that's how I first started off. And right now, I um, I actually, I work as a dispensary agent at a dispensary. Mm. And I also, um, I wholesale CBD for them. And yeah, that's that's another way where I can, um, you know, cool. go past just people that use marijuana, mm -hmm. but people that want to use things like CBD in their everyday life without having to feel like they're getting intoxicated yeah that's you know? cool man very good yeah. very good so yeah um yeah so we know you do that but you know the main thing you called here today was like uh, about your your music project you have coming out um like i was telling the people before that you dj'd for me and i was a uh, dj severe and then al reeves that's your, your rapper and producer name i'm guessing so what can yep. you tell us about that? What can you tell us about the, uh, the the producer side? Let's talk about the production side first. So how'd you get into that? Cool, cool. So yeah, so I actually started off like as Al Reeves and I ended up uh, turn, turning that passion into something else as more of a service to, to help up and coming like artists like, yeah. that I saw like myself that couldn't um like afford big name uh studios sure. or like producers like overcharging them mm -hmm. and what i tried to do what i saw in myself is that i one i i didn't see um any support from anyone else so i was like you know diy you got to do it yourself yeah and you got to be responsible for your own content and right your hard work. so i started um by producing cool. first and mm -hmm. then after that, I, you know, I didn't have a mix in, so I started engineering and studying that craft and, you wow. know, it led me to do something else. And I created uh, my own platform by also DJing and, you know, that's how, that's how I started to do all that. And, um, 
it's funny because uh, my rapper name is Al Reeves, yeah. and that means that means backwards in Spanish. So oh, okay. That goes, yeah, yeah. So that goes with like my culture and all that, and like um. So it's al revés, so that means backwards in Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dope. And my my um Reeves backwards is severe, so it's oh, DJ severe. that's dope. Yeah. Didn't know, man. Didn't know that. <laughs> that's yeah, dope. Yeah. That is super dope, man. Very good. Very good. So who um. Other than sound, you like a natural hustler, man. You get it moving, much like myself. I like what you said with the do-it-yourself, man. Get it going and people will come. Just like we're united now. We connected on something else and now we're doing this. And we're probably going to do some more things because I, you know, I like you, you, the way you roll. So um, so who, in, who, who, influenced, who influenced you? Some of your influences. How did you get that? Where did that spirit come from, that hustler mentality? I feel a lot from uh, my parents yeah. because they, they came like illegally from from mexico and okay. they were unable to seek like real jobs so they had like many side hustles and yeah you know what i mean they i mean yeah they they would do like uh you know like not the things that i do that provide services but like smaller services like you know cleaning people's houses sure. or being a caregiver to to that small stuff so sure. I've, I've always seen struggle but i always seen the light in the struggle because you know what I mean? A lot of people that are from here take things for granted, and right. I was not one of those people, and so that's why I became uh, more inclined to helping my community yeah. and uh, seeking different ways of expressing myself, which was, uh, you know, helping others, and then, mm -hmm. you know, like music and stuff like that, and, you know, cannabis just came along with it, man, because, you know what I mean? It, it all just connects yeah. with music, so... Right. Yeah, definitely. yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, what would you say? What so? What's your creative process, and what um, what is some your creative process first, and then what usually? What do you produce after that? Like, say, if you however you come up with something, then how do you come up with a song using your process? So, what is your creative process, and then what usually comes out of it? Like, how you're inspired? What inspires okay. you? So my um, my experiences, I feel, is the main creative process of doing that uh i would say just in a calm environment and then okay. i would think of like you know past experiences that happened to me or maybe something that i want to hear sure. like someone else say yeah you know what i mean something yeah. like advice because when i when i hear music i seek advice you know what i mean just just as you were to get inspired right you need something that's uh relevant to you and what you seek so i always try to think of other people yeah. and be conscientious conscientious and considerate of everyone else around me so okay. i feel like i really soak everything up from everyone else around me yeah that's cool that's cool man very good yeah. now so let's talk about your um the single i believe you have you have one single out now and you have another single that's going to come out soon what can you tell us about those singles um and what are the release date of the next one that's coming out so uh this was actually my last single um okay. it's called heaven sent you mm -hmm. can find it on all platforms there you Al go a-l-r-e-v-e-s -E yep. mm -hmm. and heaven sent and so i released heaven sent and another single called save it for the opera which which was my first single okay. coming back into rapping so and uh, the one that followed up to that that was called one sec Okay. That was called The Raid. And okay. it was featuring Mikael, um, a rapper from Michigan. Cool. And so we teamed up because I feel like, you know, this is much more than just about me. This is about others. Right on. So like I said, I try to help others and support others like yourself that do want to create that um that, vul that vulner vulnerability for like, right others to get on. And I really respect that about others when they can um you know go past judgment and just seek to bring everyone together so yeah that's cool that. that's kind of same man it reminds me a lot of myself that's how i got my name k-u-t it stood for keeping you tuned because in school yeah, i would always okay. gather up whoever can rap and bring the rappers to my house after school i'd be on turntables and they'd be you know rapping so it was like keeping us together like keeping you tuned i'd be letting them know like hey today you know just checking on things so it's cool man it's like almost like a unity thing 
That's what yeah, mu music definitely. and stuff does that, man. Music and art, it does those kind yeah. of things. So that's cool. So that's cool. And, and uh, yeah, and my, actually, I'm not going to be releasing any more singles after this one. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to be releasing my album September 16th. So okay. Look out for that. Yeah, definitely. So sure. you mentioned all platforms people can find it. Say the name of the album and where some of the platforms they can find. So the album name is a surprise as of right now because I, okay. I will be releasing the album work very soon. Mm -hmm. But you can find it on all platforms, Spotify, okay. SoundCloud, all them. I, Apple Music, iTunes, cool. um, Amazon, Google, you name it. Right, that's cool, man. So y'all, you're hearing it first right here from Al Reeves, also known as yes, DJ Severe. So... Uh, this is the final question, man. I just want to ask you, so what's your ultimate dream with your music career, with the hemp business, everything? What's your dream? When will you know, you? not that you didn't make it now, but what's your dream? What do you see? Where do you see it all going and what do you want out of it? Well, I feel like dreams stop being dreams when you turn them into goals. And Ooh. my goal for this whole experience and this whole process is to provide services for others. And... I feel like um, that that would be the longevity of it. Yeah. Because right. me uh, popping out and doing something huge, which could happen, yes. But in the conclusion, it's just about coming up together and finding that team. I feel like I found a lot of people recently, like yourself and um, mm -hmm. my engineer and my producer. Shout out to Arza. Nice. And you know what I mean? Yeah, you I, do, I got you. Keep it rolling, man. You yeah, just, I, uh, I feel you all the way, the man. Next thing to do. Yeah, that is good. That's very good, man. Very good. Um, yeah. very good conversation. Um, so just hit them with your Instagram. Tell them your Instagram and um, where they can find you one more time. Yeah, so you can follow me on IG uh, A L underscore R three V E S. You can look up Al Reeves or DJ Severe. Yep, and yeah, I'll man. drop it in here too. I'll drop it on um on the video so they can check it out from there too. I'll put the link in and everything. So yeah, very good. Do you have a website by any chance? Just wondering, do you have a, a separate website they can go to or just usually social media? Yeah, just social media. Okay, and, uh, Any that's cool. music platform that you, can, that you can think of, I'll be on there. All right, that's cool, okay. man. Any last words you can give? Any last thing you want to say to the people out there, to the youth or to anybody? I would just say is, you know, keep doing what you love and, you know, keep pursuing that career that you do seek because... You know, uh, time is limited and you can't get that time back. I would right. say, you know, give everything you have in, into what you love. So that's what I would say. Right on. You're right, man. Very good. So there you guys, you heard it first from Al Reeves here on KUT Productions. I'm KUT. We'll catch you on a video. Link up with the brother Al Reeves on Instagram. I'll drop the link in below. But go find him. Go check his music out. He's real dope. And I think he does engineering and stuff like that, too. So if you need something mixed mastered, he got a crew. So holla. Yeah. Peace.